video has been requested a bunch of times to do a no makeup makeup look. A look that's polished but doesn't look like you're wearing a lot of makeup, doesn't take a lot of products, and <laughs> that's Harper in the background. So I'm going to do that today. I have sort of a certain group of products that I use um, pretty much on a daily basis. So I'll use those today to show you what I would do and then if you want to make it a little bit more enhanced. So the first thing I would say is it's your skin and your brows that are like the biggest things. So make sure your skin is prepped, make sure you exfoliate, make sure you moisturize. I'm going to show you a moisturizer that I use, that I've been using lately. Um, if you have really oily skin, you're also going to want to include a powder. So for the brows, Glossier Boy Brow is a, a great product if you're looking for something really quick and easy. It's a teeny little, teeny little brush. I have this in Auburn. I also have it in Brown, I think it is. A couple things to, to note if you're trying to sort of build up your brows a little bit. You want to go in against the hairs, not with them. Make sure you don't have too much on the brush because if you have too much on the brush, it's just going to get messy. It's going to get messy anyway, which is why I generally do this before I put on, you know, anything else. So I don't have to wipe it off. But go against the hairs. Kind of get the product in your brows. And don't worry if it gets in like different places and there, it's fine. You're going to fix it in a minute anyway. So you can do it really, really quickly. Then go ahead and put them the way you want, whether you push them up or you push them to the side, whatever it is you do, that's up to you. That's more of a aesthetic choice. The way I do it is I push them up like this and then I'm gonna fix it in a second. You can take anything you want, you can use a brush. I use a Q-tip because it's just easiest. Also remember your brows are, you've heard the saying, cousins, not twins. They're not gonna look exactly the same. They just never do. And if you try to make them look exactly the same, it will take you forever, it will drive you, it will be very frustrating. So don't. <laughs> Just get them to where you, you feel comfortable with them and where you like them and let it go. All right, so moisturizer. I am actually using, Eric sent this to me. This is the Great Skin line. I've been using the Great Skin Instant Glow Serum, which I really like. It's like the Guerlain. Um, if, you're not, if you're not buying Guerlain right now, which I get, the lipstick thing, this is a replacement for the, the watery oil. What's in here, the Great Skin Complex. Um, it's a trio that works to support the appearance of skin elasticity, firmness, and tone. So you've got peptides in here, low molecular weight peptides, which I'm assuming means that they sink into your skin better. I think that's what that means. Spermidine, which is a polymen that helps support the skin's moisture barrier or firmer hydrated skin. And then Barrier polysaccharides, which is a carbohydrate to help improve the appearance of skin tone and firmness, which is really interesting. I wish I was more of a, so I understood a lot more of this. But anyway, uh, also there's oat extract and glycerin here to soothe and moisturize the skin in this particular moisturizer. There's hyaluronic acid. There is an emulsifier for a blurred cashmere-like finish, and it is pH balanced. So the the Great Skin Trio is going to be in this as well, and then this is going to be the moisturizer. This is similar in packaging, but it's, I think it's plastic. It feels like plastic. It's called a priming moisturizer. I mean, you can use it for whatever reason you want to, but it's called a priming moisturizer. So let's put a little on the face. It's a pump. It has a natural, you know, scent to it, as in... There are ingredients in here that smell like moisturizer, but there's no perfume. At least not that I can that I can see. So the reason the moisturizer is so important, even if you have oily skin, if you have oily skin, use a moisturizer. Use one for oily skin, that's fine. But you want your skin to look plump and healthy. If you're not gonna wear a lot of makeup and you're looking for a polished look, one of the tricks, one of the keys, is to have your skin be as healthy looking as possible. That is going to actually go a long way to making you look polished. I mean, that's kind of the idea of, of looking polished, right? That your skin looks fantastic. 
and you don't want to use a lot of makeup. So I would suggest something like the Merit Stick, the new Dior Stick, the Charlotte Tilbury Stick. The Charlotte Tilbury one is much more um, luminescent. This is the Merit's a little bit more, I'd say, skin-like. And just put it where you feel like you have the most concerns, like where you feel like you are least comfortable with your skin. For me, it's where my rosacea is, which is here, here, and on my chin. Now, if you're really in a rush and you're trying to do something very, very quickly, you can put this in with your hands. See, my skin already looks, I already look so much more finished just with the brows done and a little bit of foundation. And it's not a lot of foundation. I used very little. You saw how much I put on. So you could just literally, you could literally just let it go at this and take a little bit of gloss. Like this is the Jones Road. Any glossy lip balm, right? You could go like that and be done with it. But if you're gonna do like more polished look where you look like the no makeup kind of finished look, the things that I would suggest. Some type of contour. I would use a cream, it's less, if you're, if you have dry skin like me or, at, or normal skin, the cream is gonna look more natural um, than a powder. Now, if you, have, if you have oily skin and you find that cream products don't work for you, then I, you know that's gonna change. The thing that I would say about putting on some type of contour slash bronzer is again, if you're going for a no makeup makeup look, you want it to look as natural as possible. So you don't want to use a lot. You want to use just a little bit. And if you put this on your face with just directly from the stick, or even if you're using a powder, if you, if you just, you know, go right in and start, it's not going to look natural. It's going to be, you're going to put on too much. We all do because you can't really gauge that way how much you need. It is much better to put it directly on a brush and figure out from there. And what a contour slash bronzer does for you, or does for most people, is it helps create an illusion of whatever face shape, nose shape, chin shape that you're trying to uh, create. Usually, it's something to elongate or to sharpen a uh, part of your face that you don't particularly like. Like if you want to have more of a, a high cheekbone, you put on this type of contour, it, it contours out your cheekbone. So it looks sharper. Same with your nose. If you put it down like this, it's gonna make it look a little bit thinner. Putting the contour here highlights this part of your face, which if you're trying to focus on your eyes, that's a way to do that. So this kind of step, might make you feel more confident and more polished. You can already see, and when I use polished, I think a lot of people, when they use that word, that's what they mean. They, they mean, quote, more pulled together, looking more um, polished is the best way to say it, but like looking more like they want to look naturally, but no one does. I don't care who you are. Maybe Paulina Poroskova when she was 20, maybe. But most of us, um, have asymmetry. Most of us have something that we don't love as much. You know, that's, that's normal. And there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. And there's nothing wrong with using makeup to make yourself feel more confident if that's something that you want to do. The whole idea of a no makeup makeup look is that you feel better about yourself, feel more confident in who you are um, and the, the you that you present to the world. It's not for anyone else. It's for you. If you're doing it for someone else, then you might want to rethink why you're doing it because Makeup should be for you, for you to enjoy, for you to have fun, um, and to make you feel more, you know, confident. And I get that. I mean, I, I do that as well. I don't particularly love my rosacea. I've been using lasers for years, but, you know, I definitely would prefer my skin not to be as red. So when I put on a little bit of foundation, I feel like I have a more polished, more pulled together look. So this is Merit. This is Cheeky. This is a really easy to use, a really easy, easy to use balm. It's a really good shade. I have Beverly Hills, Fox, and Cheeky. They're all good. You can also use this as your lips. So this is like kind of a one and done product. It's extremely emollient, but it's not, it doesn't stay sticky or tacky or anything on you. And 
it's, it's something you could throw in your purse and use really easily. So you could literally have like these three products in your purse and be pretty much done. Like you'll have your, con your uh, foundation, you'll have your contour slash bronzer, and then you'll have your lipstick and your, and your cheek product. So it's pretty easy to do. I mean, you definitely feel more polished. Now, the next step is, is your eyes. The thing about eyes, like if you're trying to do a non-makeup makeup look, and again, we're trying to keep this simple, easy, it's hot out, nobody wants to be out in it, which I totally get. I don't want to be out in it either. You want to take your, you can use your, the lip, the, the Merit lip, if you feel good with that. Some people don't really like a pink or a reddish color on their eyes. I don't. So if you take your contour though, contour slash bronzer, this is perfect. This is one of the Eason brushes that are part of Sophia's set that I talked about the other day. Um, this is the T37, and this is a great brush just for that purpose because you can fit it right where your contour of your eye is to create a perfect transition with your contour slash bronzer. I keep saying contour slash bronzer because you may want to pick a color that's a little bit more bronzy to do this with. I, I prefer a little bit more cool contour. I have cool undertones in my skin, so it makes sense for me to do that, but you may want, depending on your coloring, you may want something that's bronzier, and that's fine. It doesn't really matter. Um, the point is you're trying to sculpt a little bit, and the sculpting helps, again, create more of that polished look. Look, see, all I did was put a little bit of contour on my eyes and it already looks like, you know, a more no makeup makeup look. So next what I would do if I was just going somewhere and I was doing this, I would just put on mascara and call it a day. I'd be like, all right, put on my mascara, I'm good. But the thing is, I will say, I have long lashes. Um, I've been using the Swede Lash Serum, which by the way, really does work. Like seriously. But not everyone has long lashes just naturally. So if you don't and you feel like you want to build that up a little bit and you don't feel like mascara is like enough to give you that kind of look, eyeliner. Tight line, which I know nobody really likes the idea of it because you kind of have to stick it like close to your eye. But it's basically underneath your eyelash line. And the reason that I suggest tight lining is because you can see how now, look at the two eyes, see how this one looks like I have fuller lashes. If you draw the line on the lid, yes, it's still gonna give you that kind of look, but it looks more artificial. It looks more like makeup, which again, there's nothing wrong with, but if we're going for this no makeup makeup look, tight lining is gonna give you more of a natural look. That's all. Now, I went in with the Victoria Beckham pencil in bronze. The reason I did this is because this is an incredibly soft pencil, and I feel like it's really easy to tight line with this because this stuff just glides on. Like, I have i don't know how you would have a problem applying this. It's just super soft. Now, I put a little bit on the outer corner. Again, not a lot because you're not going for, you know, that makeup look, but I would make sure that you're close to the lash line. That's the idea, okay? Curl your lashes, because for me, my lashes are long, but straight, and curling your lashes, opening up your eyes, really does make a difference. Now, I'm gonna use a brown mascara today. This is the Lash Clash um, from Yves Saint Laurent. My understanding is that it's new in the brown, and I'm gonna do a, a comparison with the black and the brown soon, but I generally don't wear a brown mascara. Um, if I'm gonna wear mascara, I like to go like dramatic black. However, if you're gonna do a true non-makeup makeup look, a brown mascara is probably gonna be better for most people. I originally, naturally, had black hair, almost black. Uh, well, black when I was a kid, and then it lightened as I got older, but it's dark, it's extremely dark. Um, I'm Sicilian and Ukrainian, so I have, that's why I'm so pale, but with the black hair, anyway. <laughs> that doesn't matter. The point is, my lashes are actually black. So black lashes actually look normal on me because that is the color of my lashes. But for most people, a brown is gonna look 
a lot more natural. So if you want something that, again, is not overly dramatic, um, you're going to want something that gives you a separation of your lashes, maybe even wispiness, which the lash clash does, I, I will say. But you don't want to go overboard on the mascara because, again, I've said this a million times, if we're doing a, you know, no makeup makeup look, you don't want it to be too heavy. If, let's say, you want to go like the next step and you want to have something that has like a little bit more color to it, the where, where I'd focus on color, I would not focus on color on the eyes. Keep them the same contour slash bronzer that you have on your face. Um, and you don't want to use a blush because you don't like a pink or red on your eyes. I would go, I would go with a bright lip. You're gonna ask me, you're like, well, Jennifer, it's no makeup, makeup look. How do I do a bright lip with, you know, not looking like too shiny or whatever? So here's here's the way you do that. So first I blotted off the um, the gloss, the glossy lip. You're gonna take the, the lipstick. This is the Merit, um, I forgot the shade name, Power. And either use your finger or you can also use a brush. There's different ways to do this, but I, I honestly think the finger is just the easiest way to do this. And now it's a very muted, soft, almost powdery lip, which doesn't look shiny or overdrawn because again, you put it on with your finger. I was thinking about this the other day. Um, I haven't had a chance to get my hair done, my roots done, uh, because I had COVID and I had to cancel my hair appointment, my color appointment and my haircut. Um, <laughs> my hair is white now. It's basically almost, I'd say 75% white. And so I was thinking like, if I ever let my hair grow in, I have pale skin, white hair. If you have pale skin and blonde hair, or let's say you have medium skin, but your hair is a similar shade, it can wash you out a little bit not to have a contrast between your skin tone and your hair when you wear a nude lipstick, nude for whatever that is for you. So sometimes a lip like this, and this power shade is the perfect example of that, can bring a little bit of brightness to your face when the rest of your face doesn't really have that and your hair doesn't provide a contrast. So what I'm saying is I only have contour on my face, a, t a little bit of blush, right? And then the contour is on my eyes, so there's no color there. And then, I mean, brown is a color, but you, you get my point. Um, and the, the brows are brown, the eyelashes are brown, the contour is brown. If you go with a brown lip on top of it, um, it can wash some people out. So you might find that something like this, just padded on your lips, is gonna provide brightening of your face without a lot of makeup. And you can do that, just a little bit of the powder, the power lipstick, with just having on your moisturizer and the Merit stick. You could take that lipstick and put this on your cheeks. You could take the lipstick like this, put it on your finger, and pat it in here, and now you have so remember that when you're, you know, coming up with these ideas for like a no makeup makeup look, the idea really is to look polished. I think what people think of is to look polished, but not overdone. Most people will look different without any makeup on, not bad or good, just different. And so if you want your best version of yourself, but you don't want to wear a lot of makeup for various reasons, what you're really trying to do is enhance all your attributes. So your skin, make it look as healthy as it can. Your eyes, as big as they can. Your lashes, as long as they are. Your lips, as full as they can be. Whatever it is that you know, you're looking for. The products can help enhance those things without making it look like you're wearing a lot of makeup. The key to that is keeping things simple, similar shades, using the same products for, for different things. Pulling it all in together will really help uh, create that sort of polished finish. And again, if you have oily skin, you're gonna wanna use some type of powder. The If you have a rosacea, the Prada powder, the green one, you can use that to take out a little bit of the redness. That's gonna work really well. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more, you know, uh, for oily skin, not something that's not emollient. There's tons of powders out there I know. I'm not the one to talk to about oily skin because I've never had it. 
but I think um, these steps should apply to pretty much everybody out there. So hopefully that gives you guys what you wanted for a polished, no makeup makeup look. At this point, you know, I probably have on a little bit more makeup than I would wear personally for a no makeup makeup look, but I wanted to give you different options. So if you have any questions, if you have like specifics that you wanna go through, certainly go ahead and put them in the comments below. You can always ask me questions here. I also have a Patreon page where I respond to people directly. So if there, if you wanna join up over there, you can do that, no pressure. And thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon.